is good Grey Gang. We're actually going to be doing something that's kind of extremely different than I've ever done before. It definitely fits my channel, but I've never done it before and I've never even done anything like it, okay? Do you look at my backpack? What? The, am I going to Mount Everest? I don't know. But I'm telling you, man. Oh my gosh, this thing's so huge. I'm going to try to set y'all down and you see what's going on. I mean, let me stink and show you. Oh! Why do I have that much stuff? I don't know. But anyways, guys, the plan is to go out to a 24-hour wilderness challenge. Now, I do want you guys to keep in mind, this is not a survival challenge. I'm not going out there with just a knife and going to survive. I think I'm going to set y'all down right here and just go through everything on the back. Now, first thing to notice is that it is a KG hunting predator backpack. So, it's the backpack that I used all winter hunting. And then today, I literally transformed it into basically a bug out bag. If you can see right here on the edges, and if you have one, you're Yourself, you know but it has a bunch of these little loops a bunch of loops all on the side all on the front even back here on the back it has loops everywhere and i knew exactly what i was doing whenever i created it because this is why i can get carabiners just little clips just like this and i can unclip them from the bag unhook them there's one thing then i can always just hook them on and by putting those loops all across the bag that allows me to carry more than just what can fit inside of it because think about it guys it's just a backpack it can't hold a ton of stuff but once you put loops and start attaching stuff to it it can hold quite a bit but let me just go over it the base bag inside i think i have the drone and a bunch of literally useless stuff inside the backpacks basically everything that i don't need everything on the outside is what i do need but i do have like eight water bottles stuffed up in the top since this isn't a survival challenge i'm not really going to worry about like purifying water boiling it out of a creek or anything i'm this is just a bug out situation i mean let me just set the scene okay so i'm chilling like a villain in my house i look over a herd of goats run right through the door and they took over my house and make it their stronghold what do i do i grab my bug out bag i gotta get out for 24 hours and here we are but anyways over here i got this random frying pan i i, I don't know i i don't know i mean i'm definitely sure we're gonna use it probably could have picked a more lightweight option but as for now that, that's what I got. And then in this, hanging off of the main bag, this is the APP, the all-purpose pack. And what I've got in there is all the cooking stuff. I've got gas in there. I've got a little few more pots and stuff. Got some oil. And then on the other side, directly parallel, I have another APP strapped in with the loop. But then over here is what I have for food. And if you look at that, guys... That's a little bit of food, but if we're going to be honest, that's not enough to sustain me very long. Yeah, I can probably make it an hour with that much food, but let's be honest, guys. In a bug out situation, if you're planning on staying longer than just two days, probably, you need a way to collect food because, well, you just, you can only carry so much food. But since this is only a 24 hour, it's perfectly fine to just do this. Then on the front, we have a sleeping bag, you know kind of self-explanatory and then right down there on the bottom strapped into some more loops right here that's actually a tent oh yeah and on the inside i have a hammock in case i get bored and don't want to sit on a rock but anyways guys that's just about it but before i leave i'm going to sharpen the little kg pocket knife and then i'm going to sharpen this it is the kg survival hatchet that you have not seen yet and probably won't for a little while but i'm really going to need this today so i'm just going to, have to spoil it a little bit for you so nothing incredibly difficult <laughs> Just sharpen these two knives, so that one knife and one hatchet. Just sharpen a little bit because I'm, there's a good chance I'm gonna need them. It's not really that I plan on using them a ton, but I don't wanna be in the situation to where something happens and I need to use them, but they're really dull. Which I'm not saying they're dull, it's just that I want them to be as sharp as possible. Now that right there, that should be good for that knife. It was already extremely sharp to start with. And then we'll move on to the hatchet. It's also extremely sharp right now. But I mean, honestly, why not? Let's just go ahead and sharpen it while we got everything here. This is weird to sharpen. Yeah, this is different. Never sharpened a hatchet like this before. It was already good to start with. Now, let's go ahead, put this big bag on. That may... That may be a challenge. Let's go ahead and try it, I guess. It's heavy, guys. I ain't even gonna try to lie to you. I have trouble with it. It's massive. I know I'm overpacked way too much. Like, there's no doubt about it. I have way too much stuff on this than I need. But that brings me to the next thing I want to talk about. This is my first time doing anything even remotely kind of similar to this. Therefore, if some of you guys are like bug out survival experts or something, don't get mad at me. However, I do want your help in the comments because I am new to this. Some of you guys see what I'm doing wrong or maybe you think there's a way that I can pack lighter. I want you guys to tell me that. Right here, as you see, is the field. As you can see, there's a high wall right there. I'm going over there. Yeah, I've got to get moving. There's a high wall. It goes way out there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. 
and then curves around. I gotta go back there. This is gonna take a while. And it's up a hill. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is gonna be awful. But it'll be good, I guess, hopefully. I'm just gonna start hiking in that direction and then I'll pick you guys back up once I get in that general area and then we'll start looking for a place to set up the tent, set up shelter. A few moments later. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Okay guys, here's what happened. So um, uh, our destination changed. Instead of way over there on the peaks like I showed you, I turned around and went the complete opposite direction. And let me tell you why. Okay, so I got, I literally got like halfway there. And then I was just standing there and I looked over and there was a random guy walking through the woods with a big old white sack and just grabbing moss off rocks and putting it in the bag. And I literally got 10 yards from him and he had no idea I was there. There are no houses in that area for like four miles. I promise you that. I, d I don't know why this guy was just in the middle of nowhere. Literally in the middle of nowhere. And why was he getting moss? Why was he getting moss? I don't know. I figured I wasn't going to ask him and he wasn't going to ask me because he, he, he had no idea I was there. I think that was the funniest part. He had no clue I was there. But for probably my own safety, I decided to turn around and now we're here. Right here on the side of this big mountain right here. But I found a decent little, little you know, flat spot. Should be good enough to put a tent on. Hopefully I won't roll down the hill in the middle of the night. But the problem with this spot right now is, you know, there's some little sticks like this. Just, you know, just random sticks. Nothing bad or anything. But anyways, guys, I'm going to put the big 80 pounder down. Gosh. And then I'm gonna start clearing me out a spot for the tent. And then we'll pitch it and we'll be good to go for a little while, I guess. Oh my gosh, that's way overpowered. Why did I bring so much stuff? I'm insane. Also, guys, if you'd like to pick up any of the stuff, whether it be the knife we're gonna be using, some of the backpack or the APP, little lunchbox little things, or even the fanny pack, I'm literally decked out in KG and the merch. Oh my gosh. But if you want to check out any of that stuff, it's kindlegrade1.com slash shop with the first link in the description. Okay, guys, somehow we got the tent set up. Let me show you around my crib, I guess. I mean, not, I, I, you know, it, there's nothing in it, okay? Don't get jealous, okay? I mean, it's got this door and these big windows, which I'm probably gonna have to find a way to close in because it looks like it's gonna rain. <sighs> I don't really know, guys. I think that's all I got. I mean, I feel like it was too easy. No, definitely didn't feel like it's too easy. It's hard. But anyways, guys, now I'm gonna get the sleeping bag. Go ahead, toss it in the tent. Let it be sitting in there. That way no bugs get inside of it or anything. And, uh, yeah, now I think we're, we're really far along. We'll just throw that in there like that. Yeah, get in there, big boy. And then we'll shut the tent back, and we're good. Yeah, now the tent's fully set up and everything. Okay, so now that we got that set up, now we're good. Now we're good. We have shelter, the hardest thing. I got food and water right in here in my backpack. So there's really nothing else that's going to be extremely hard to do. Now we can kind of slow down, take it easy, try to stop sweating, and just chill. Let's eat first. I'm hungry. Now we're actually going to try to eat a little bit. It's, you know... I don't know what time it is, my phone died. But on a real note, it's cloudy, so I really can't tell if the sun's going down, if it's already down, if it's almost down, if it's straight up. I can't tell because it's cloudy. So I'm going to go ahead and cook dinner here. That way we won't really have to worry about it. Right here, got a little pan. I think I got a hamburger patty in there. I'm just going to fry that up. Something simple, just a little meat. And then in here, I'm, uh... I've actually got some of the good stuff right there. Some good old chicken and dumplings, baby. Oh yeah, we about to tear in on it. And then I'll come in my other APP. Pull out a little bit of that. It is not what it says. This is actually grease in there. I don't really know. I guess we'll do that. And then we'll pull out the fire or the butane. And then we'll pull out this. This is actually what we're going to be cooking that in. I'm going to try to set y'all on my knee the best way possible. I don't really know how I'm going to be able to do that. But, you know, we're going we're gonna to do it with Gan. I'll go ahead. Get out this thing. This is the thing that actually screws on that actually like puts out gas and stuff. Oh my gosh, my camera keeps falling. Well, can buddy, why don't you go get a tripod? Well, I don't know. You're probably right. I probably should. But now that I got that set up, I'm going to go ahead and put the chicken and dumplings right down here in the pot. Because this is what I'm going to cook them. Because now we're getting somewhere a little bit. I didn't exactly get the can open all the way because a few minutes ago I realized that my can opener was not a can opener at all. I literally have no idea what that thing does, but it does not open a can, I promise. So I just had to go Rambo with my knife, and uh, now we got about a half open can. Yeah, I think we're still going to have to work on it a little bit. But like for real though, that is some good stuff, and this is going to be epic. Looking at it, yeah, it doesn't exactly look that appetizing, but guys, it's chicken and dumplings. How can it not be? Come over here, turn the gas on a little bit. 
and then light it. There we go. There we go. Now it's lit. Set it right on top just like that. We have a little bit of fire going. Not much, but just enough to make a little heat. Now, every few seconds or something, I guess I'll go ahead and stir it. Since this is kind of like pre-cooked, you really just want to warm it up. Is this a good bug out food? I don't know. I mean, I guess if you like chicken and dumplings, it is. I'm going to go ahead and get this done cooking. Then we'll move on over to the steak or hamburger steak, I guess. Okay, guys. So now we got this cooking pretty good. What we want it to do is boil. It's starting to boil a little bit, but we want it to boil a little bit more. Just, you know, cook it just because, you know, I don't know. Why not? kind of why we got it on a fire but now we'll turn on over to how you know we're gonna do the thing now right there i have some grease in there it's not heated up so it's not oil yet i guess then right here i have just a random hamburger patty i threw in my bag before i left we'll go ahead and pull that out and uh, we'll go ahead and put it in the pan oh my gosh bro this isn't even a hamburger what am I doing? This is a stinking pork chop. Are you kidding me? I love pork chop. I never brought ketchup, so that may change it a little bit. Oh, no, don't get on the tent. Okay, we're good. I mean, we'll just have to heat this up and then actually start cooking it. But after that, we're like ready to go. We got my dumplings over here. They're doing good. I just need to mix them a little bit more. And I want to tell y'all one thing. So far, I have been out here for about four to five hours, roughly. Which, like I said, I don't really know. But this is one of the most boring things you can possibly do. But then, it's fun. Tell me how that works. I mean, doing all this cooking stuff, all this, this is really fun. Got a random looking pork chop over here. Every now and again, you'll get in a little fight with a mosquito. It's just, it's, like, it's exciting. It's always different, always different. But it is kind of fun, but it's also very boring. I want to be honest with you. I mean, we've got a cool looking tent there, but well, I'm saying cool now, but probably whenever I'm sleeping on a stick, it may not be that cool anymore. Day 39 since the crash. I'm all alone now. Everyone else is passed. Right now, I'm uh, cooking a possum I trapped last night and uh, just a few, little bit of rice that I stole from the local farmers. But uh, yeah, so far there's been no sign of finding civilization, except for the farmers. But I don't like the farmers. I don't know how many more days it'll be, but Got my shelter here, the front part of the plane over there. Oh yeah, and I'm about to cook up the Sasquatch from last night. Flipping good! Tell you what guys, I think this is done. I mean, you really don't need to cook it that much. You're really just warming it up. I'm just gonna set that right over there and hopefully that doesn't start a forest fire. Now let me go ahead and pull this thing over here. This is actually gonna require like some for real, for real cooking skills because I don't know and some balance. Turned up the heat a little bit because I know I'm gonna have to have some more heat for this. It's a bigger piece of meat. It's just gonna take overall longer to cook. So might as well go ahead and turn up the heat but don't rush anything. We don't want to cook it the wrong way. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some of the chicken dumplings. A little bit hot if you get it from the bottom. Wonder why. But overall, guys, this is like really good. There's not really much you could have done wrong to make this. I mean, as long as you got heat, you pretty well done it. I know what I'm missing. I know exactly what I'm missing. Water, because I'm kind of dehydrated now. Shake up my pork chop. It's starting to sizzle now. We good. But now let me go get a water, because like I said, I'm dehydrated. It's in here in the tent. I put everything in the tent just because I don't want bugs all over it if I can keep from it pull out the water bottle and we're good to go guys like this is actually really fun this is a whole lot funner than it was 20 minutes ago i gotta admit 20 minutes ago i was sitting in the hammock staring at the side of a tree probably should have found something to occupy my time but guess what i didn't <laughs> oh man look at this look at old porky over here i'm gonna turn the heat down because i'm gonna cook it really low heat for a really long time because anyways i got this food right here to occupy me for now the longer it takes for that to cook the better I'm in no rush for that. As long as it gets done before it gets dark, I'm happy. I mean, I know I'm not exactly out here just straight surviving out in the woods, drinking waters out of grapevines or something. I'm not necessarily setting pit traps for black bear. But honestly, guys, this is, this is cool. I like this. I really do. I mean, it's the first step, guys. I'm coming out here today just doing kind of a 24-hour bug out challenge. But after this, you never know. I'm definitely doing a 24-hour survival challenge where I actually come out here and survive. Like, I don't know, like maybe give me a gun and say that's about it. Let me build my shelter, kill my food, cook my food on my own, and build fire, which may be really hard. Let me show you a little bit more about what I actually got. Of course, I got some of this random stuff here, like this spoon. I, don't ask me, okay? And this bag right here, this is where I actually keep in my food. There's still a lot of stuff in here. I'm not going to show you what it is because you're going to have to wait till morning to find out what's for breakfast it's pretty awesome i think uh, the pork chops are just about done that's about how they look when they're done 
So I'm gonna dump it there in my weird looking pot. And now I will somehow try to figure out how am I gonna eat this? My love of ketchup would really hurt me in a survival situation. Cause I love pork chop, but I also don't love pork chop that doesn't have ketchup on it. Yeah, I know, you can't really be picky when your plane just crashed, but you know what? I really like ketchup, but I'll figure it out. Pull out my knife that I bent. Looks like the last time I used it. See if I can cut me a piece. Oh no! Either I cooked this sucker really good or this knife's pretty sharp. Oh no, man, I cooked this perfect. Probably because I'm a stinking master chef. Look at that. Man, dude. That there. It's some good survival food. Who knew a Sasquatch would be so tender? But anyways, guys, I know you can't tell it, but it's actually like getting dark right now. I probably got like an hour left of light or something. Definitely less, but no more than an hour before I need to be in the tent shut and in my sleeping bag. Time has flew. But I tell you what I'm actually gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this pork chop. Then I'm gonna clean up base camp. That way we don't have a bunch of rabid raccoons out here trying to eat all my stuff. And then I'll catch back with you guys up in the tent. <sighs> okay, guys, we're in the tent now. It's pretty sealed off and everything. Only thing is this, it's kind of messy right here i don't know if the dew is going to come down because it dews like every day in kentucky but one way or another these shorts are not going to be enough for tonight that's why we have a sleeping bag of course so go ahead and try to unfold that now since the sleeping bag is from the dirty 30s the zipper is ripped off therefore you know it's just going to stay open the whole time i don't really know how it's going to work but this is the only sleeping bag i got and i don't plan on freezing to death tonight but anyways the plan put the feet down here sleep diagonally maybe put my head on this pillow something like that i don't really know i'm just going to try and see what happens i'll go ahead and try to get in it now mm. okay okay so far so good oh, okay that ain't, this ain't gonna be too bad no this won't be too bad at all okay. and so now i think i'll just sit here and wait until i fall asleep and then whenever the sun wakes me up i'm curious as to what time i'm gonna wake up because i'm not setting any alarms i'm just gonna go naturally like what time to wake up am i gonna wake up like at 7 30 or something when the sun comes up or am i gonna be able to sleep through it or am i gonna wake up at like three o'clock because my back has a cramp in it i don't know we're gonna have to wait and find out but one thing's for sure i'm gonna put this camera just right here right above my head if anything happens if maybe i look out and there's like a possum climbing on the side the tent i'll show you guys but as for now i'm just going to try to go to bed because my back kind of already hurts because i'm on a rock but anyways guys i'll tell you what i'll see you in the morning unless something crazy like a possum climbing on the tent happens okay i'll see you later <laughs> okay guys i don't know what time it is but it's dark i can tell you that right there's what we're looking at so, uh, yeah, basically, it's dark outside. I've not really fell asleep yet, mainly because I'm sleeping on, like, eight water bottles in my backpack. It's not exactly the easiest just fall asleep. But out there where I was cooking that food, I, I do hear some footsteps now. So there may or may not be a possum with a chicken and dumplings can stuck on its head. If that is the case, we'll see it in the morning. As for now, I'm just going to hope it's a mouse. Because if not, I may die tonight. Hopefully it's not a squatch. If it's a squatch, it's game over. Uh, I guess I'm awake now. I have my backpack as my pillow all the time. Listen, my back is about to... Oh my gosh, it feels like it's in two pieces. Uh, I definitely slept on a rock the whole night. But like I was talking about last night, I was kind of curious about what time I'd wake up. Honestly, I have no idea because it's still cloudy. I mean, I guess normally I could, you know, get up and see how high the sun was. But in today's case, it's cloudy. I have no clue where the sun is. So, uh, yeah, I guess I really don't know how long I slept. But anyway, guys, <coughs> I guess it's about time to get up and maybe get some breakfast going. Now we're about to eat breakfast. We got the pan cooking up. And just before I left the house, I went in the chicken coop and I snagged at me some four eggs. Now there is only four, but then again, I'm only here for like a few more hours now. These four should definitely do me. I don't really know how the best way to crack an egg is. I'm just going to have to set y'all down and try my best. I know how to crack an egg, I just don't know how to crack it on a skillet that's ready to fall off at any time. I believe I'm going to go ahead and cook all four right here. Throw that egg out in the middle of nowhere because it doesn't really matter. We're going to scramble these eggs just because that's the easiest way to cook them. Especially in this situation where, I mean, all I have is this random looking spoon. I didn't really plan too good. If I would probably cook them a different way, but I don't have any way to flip the eggs. And all I really have is a spoon. So this is like our only option. Now we'll bring the eggs back. 
try to set them on there somehow and now i'll just start scrambling and now guys because this is kind of going to take two hands because it isn't exactly balanced perfectly i'll get back with you guys whenever they're almost done and whenever it's time to eat okay yeah now we're good you can see good scrambled eggs and i'm talking like these are world-class five stars on yelp it's kind of insane i don't know but here i go i didn't put any salt in them didn't put any pepper mainly because i don't have any just plain old scrambled cooked eggs i don't think they can be too bad because they're eggs They're kind of plain because, you know, they are just plain eggs, but they're still good. They're still really good. And once I eat these, it's about time to head out, guys. I did check the time, and it's, like, already, like, 11. I don't know how that happened. I don't know. I guess I slept good somehow <laughs> last night. So, uh, I went, get, went ahead and ate the eggs. Everything's gone now. Like, completely everything is packed up back into my Himalayan trekking bag. And now I'm going to somehow try to put it on me. Ah! I one handed. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think we're good. Now let's uh, just get out of here because it's about that time. And, uh, well, yeah, it's just that time. Now, this has been a journey. A full 24 hour bug out. Hasn't been a survival bug out, but I do think that'll be next. I really do. So let's do a recap. What did I learn? Well, um, I packed eight water bottles and I literally drunk two of them. So what I'm thinking next time is that water probably pack less, but I could also just pack a life straw you know what i mean water's heavy guys it's extremely heavy if i could just bring a simple like filter that i could get water from anywhere and just filter it i think that would be the way to go another thing i'm bringing a mat next time that i literally slept on a rock about that big right in my spine didn't notice it till the morning of course but i tell you what i'm gonna head on back to the house and i will catch you back some other day i don't know when but this has been fun it really has anyways great gang I'll see you later. Sweet merch at countergray1.com slash shop. And always remember, hashtag deep Jesus, hashtag Grey Gang.